Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Chotwani once again from learn-mission.com. So in this video, we are going to talk about how you can handle the bootstrap dropdown or any other dropdown which does not have a select tag. Okay, so in the previous lectures, we have discussed right how to deal with the dropdown which has a select tag. And if you haven't watched that video, then this is the video which uh, covers how to handle the select dropdown. Okay, now most of the times if you're using the modern applications, you will not get the select drop down okay so if you take example this is a bootstrap drop down so if i show you this drop down this is a modern drop down which does not have any select tag so if i right click on this and if i show you so you will find that it has a different tag so it might have a div tag a span tag anchor link depends on the implementation so if you see this part this is a basically a ul you can see the highlight right and inside UL, we have LI. So this is first LI, second LI, third LI, and so on. Inside each LI, you will find we have anchor link, right? This is another anchor link and so on. This is just one example, but this video will be applicable for other dropdown as well. For example, you're using Angular application. They, you might not find the LI UL, but you might find div tag and span tag. So any other dropdown which does not have a select tag, this concept will be applicable. So just follow this uh, video. It's very straightforward, but you will be using uh, something called a wrap method, which is sometimes confusing. So I'm going to help you out with this. So uh, in order to get started, let me quickly create a file. Okay. And let's create everything from the scratch. So I'm going to create a new file and I will say this is handle bootstrap dropdown dot spec dot js now let me quickly create a describe block and then i will quickly create a it block so i will use describe this is nothing but coming from mocha and i will say handle drop down or i will say bootstrap drop down inside this we have to write our test so i'm going to use it block it's again coming from mocha and you can see I'm getting this auto suggestions because of one plugin which I have already mentioned in the previous videos. But in case if you're not getting this auto suggestions, you can write manually. And I will say uh, select value. Now let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I will do, I will start this application. So I'm going to use cy.visit. Now, in case if you're completely new to Cypress, then I would highly recommend you to watch my previous videos where I have discussed everything. What is describe, what is it, which, what is CY and how I'm getting this auto suggestion. So please go ahead and watch that, that playlist. I will give you the link in the card. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to click on it and then I have to select this value. So guys, there are two options to handle this kind of drop down. First option, which is very straightforward. You click on this and then you click on this or click on this, right? It means you need to perform two clicks click and continue second option is click on it then you can see we have multiple options right what you can do you can get all this element write a small for loop or any other loop write a condition that if the value equal to javascript click on it or if the value equal to about us click on it or if you just want to verify then you can click on it capture all these values and check if this value contains javascript or not it's totally up to you depends on your test so I will show you the second way, which is most important and little tricky because the first one is click and click continue, right? But the second way is where people get confused. So first let's click on it. And so for clicking, if I just identify, so this is a button, right? And I can see this button has a ID called menu one. So let me quickly take this and I will be using something called cy.get. Okay, now I will be using CSS since it is an ID, right? So I will be using hash, then menu one, and I will be clicking on it. So I will say dot click. Perfect. Now, the second thing which I need to do the moment we click on it, I need to grab all these values, right? I need to grab all these elements. So if I see right now, uh, this is coming under li, right? And if you see this part, uh, this is coming under UL. So UL, then LI, then A. So what I will do, I will simply take this part because menu one, menu two, and the same thing you will find for all the web elements, right? 
So I will just copy this and I will write a quickly one CSS that find anchor tag which has role equal to menu item. So can you see it is highlighting four? One, two, three, four. So I will grab this, I will go back and now I will say cy dot get. Now here's an interesting part guys. So till now we have only symbol, uh, I will say single web element, right? So we were able to perform dot click. But now this particular CSS selector is matching with four elements. So now if you put mouse over, you will see it says get one or more DOM element using this selector. So this time we have more, which is four. So now how we can iterate this that is our challenge so first of all I will just write each okay the moment you write each okay uh, let me show you the yeah documentation parts because this is important so what exactly does it will iterate through an array like a structure arrays or object within a length property so if you see this part First of all, this each method will accept one function, right? So the, the first argument of this function will be the jQuery web element. Second will be the index. Third will be the list. Okay, so don't worry, I will show you how to use it. So, and don't worry about the code. I will share the code with you. You can follow as it is. Uh, just write function, pair of parentheses, curly bracket start and end. Yeah. Now, interesting part here, it accepts three arguments, right? The first argument was jQuery element. So use dollar ELE or use any uh, word that you use, but I will prefer ELE which is stand for element. Second argument is index. Okay. So I will use index and the last one is list. Inside this, we have to write our logic. Now the logic says first I, I will iterate okay all of them and I will capture the text if text is equal to JavaScript I will click on it. So first of all I will use if condition now this is my jQuery web element guys okay. So what I will do just to show you I will print everything so I will say cy dot log and here I will use this jQuery element and I will use something called text and let's run this so basically I'm going to run this particular program which will click on this menu which is nothing but drop down then it will identify all the four elements then I'm running a for each so what it does it will take one element one by one and it's going to return me the text and I'm simply printing or which is nothing but I'm using cy.log so you will see everything on the Cypress test runner. Now this is my Cypress test runner and uh, if you just see here we have created this right handle bootstrap drop down so just click on it and it should start our session and it should click on the drop down then it should print all the menus. So yes it started as you can see the page has been loaded yeah, Selenium practice, it will click on the tutorial first. Yeah, it clicked and now you can see it captured all these values. So if you see HTML, CSS, JavaScript about us, right? So it has actually uh, captured all these values and it is printing. It means the first task is done. Now we just need to write a small condition that if this drop down have JavaScript, click on it or if it contains HTML, then click on it, right? So it's totally up to you. So I will go back here and instead of just writing cy.log, let's write a small condition. The condition which I will be writing, if the element that we are capturing, okay? So again, we will use uh, dot text, right? And we will write a condition. If it contains, let's say JavaScript, okay? You can write anything. I will use JavaScript. The reason is, because if I click on JavaScript, it will redirect to a new page. So now let's use this dollar ELA dot click. Now you will notice that you cannot use this click directly with jQuery elements. Okay, you can see a strike, right? You cannot call this click method 
with jQuery element. So what we need to do, we need to use one more method called wrap. So if I show you the documentation, Cypress also provide a method. What it does, it will lead that object, whatever you will pass into it. For example, if you pass certain object, okay, it will wrap and then you can call the Cypress commands. So this is exactly what we will do. And if you just come back to this examples with elements, right? This is exactly what we are going to do. This is the condition. And if this condition evaluates to true, then we will wrap that element to Cypress. And then we will call this click command, okay? Or click method. So once it is done, first I have to wrap this object. So I will say cy dot wrap. And here I need to pass this jQuery element, which is a dollar element. Then I can call dot click. Now it will not give any error. Okay. And before this, I want to print. Okay. Something. So I can say cy dot log and I can say uh, found element in case if it is coming to else. I want to write something called cy.log again it, this logs is optional it is just I want to show you how it will display on the screen so it says print a message to the cypress command log I will say still searching or you can directly use this I will write this is my cy.log current value and I will use this text okay so first it will run it will check uh, let's come back here if it is HTML okay maybe I can complete this code first then I will explain you and once we will do the click then we can perform some validation as well okay the validation would be the moment I click on JavaScript okay what it will do it will redirect to my blog which is learn innovationcom and here I can validate whether the title contains automation or the URL contains automation it could be anything so what I will do I will capture this title and this title says automation selenium web driver tutorial step by step right so I can just verify whether the title contains automation or not. So I will come back that after a click, I want to capture the title. So I will say cy dot title. Then I will use one assertion. So I will use should and this title should include automation. Okay. So I will use include. And guys, in the previous sessions, we have discussed how to assert title, how to assert a uh, URL. So I'm using include and what exactly we want to check include automation or not. Very easy code, uh, but let me explain you once again before running. So first it will click, then I will capture all the elements. Then we are using each command. What exactly it accept? It accept one function. This accept uh, function accepts three argument. One is jQuery element. Second is index. Third is list. So what we are going to do, we are going to run this. It will pick this element one by one. So we are going to capture the text using text method and we are checking if it is JavaScript then log this click on that element and check whether the title contains automation or not. If not come back to else just print the text. So the first part obviously the first element would be uh, if I show you this tutorials the first option is HTML right. So in the first iteration, definitely if condition will evaluates to false and it will come to else and it will print the current one which is HTML. Again in the second iteration, it will again check for the JavaScript which is not true. So it will print CSS, it will come to else. In the third iteration, it will capture JavaScript. Here comes the main part. Third element text is equal to equal to JavaScript, yes. So we have discussed earlier guys, this what is the difference between double equal to and triple equal to. Then the moment the condition is true, it will log this. It will wrap that element so that we can use Cypress command click. Then we are checking it should include automation. Now let's run this and let's see how it works. So again, I will 
you know close this and let's run this let me stop the previous one and let's start a fresh session here we go so the test started application loaded it will click on the tutorial now once the page is loading completely right so it's still waiting for the page load yes it did click and now it clicked on javascript and now the page should reload and it should move to different url which is learn-innovation.com and then it is going to perform the assertion okay now you can see wait for the page load until this page is not getting loaded it will wait this is the feature of cypress okay that until the page load is not successful it will keep on waiting okay since it's my blog i hosted on a shared hosting so it takes some time to load and yes yes can you see there are a couple of uh, get calls post calls and yes finally it did the assertion and the assertion is successful okay so now let's quickly see uh, the first thing that you will notice here that this get that uh, the CSS expression that we have written right it is matching with four and now if you see this part it is highlighting here right then the current values are HTML CSS and the third one it is able to say found element then it did the click and after click it is also matching the assertion so if you see this assertion part right the moment you have any assertion it will show in the green mark and it is showing here so that's quite easy uh, so again if i give you a quick recap what you need to do uh, start your test okay click on that element grab all the element then use dot h use a function or if you don't want to use this function you can go with arrow function it will accept three argument jquery element index list then you can write your condition that if text equal to this then do this activity else do this activity right now i am using click but if you don't want to use click you can just do the assertion and exit okay it's totally up to you that's all for this video guys in case this video helped you in any manner then do share with your uh, friends and colleagues and in case if you want to support this channel then do support this channel by subscribing and hit the like button let me know your thoughts in the comment section let me know if you have any query in the cypress you can let me know in the comment section or you can send an email as well to my email which is mokesh otwani at the learn and i will see you in the next video have a nice day. Bye-bye.